What's up? Brandon Lilly here. We got a good question this morning. Um, the first question, it's actually a two-part question. Is the slingshot allowable or effective on the cube method? And if so, how do you use it? Absolutely, the cube method welcomes the slingshot. Uh, it is a tool. It's not something that we use every single week, but it is one of the, the major factors in my bench press going from you know, roughly 515 to 573 in competition in, in a pretty rapid period of time. Uh, I benched 540 in May and um, have really used the slingshot a lot since then. And anybody that knows, you know, once you get into the 500, mid 500 range, you don't, you don't chip away at the pounds very quickly unless you're doing something right. And, uh, you know, to make a 30 pound jump in a couple, a couple months is pretty, pretty good. So what I usually do with the slingshot for me on the max days, I'll work up to my max single or double, uh, however it's laid out in the, in the week. And the next, then I'll do one set, maybe two sets of a jump. You know, let's say I'm working with 500 pounds for a single. I might go 540 and then like 555 or 525 and 535, something like that. I like to make a small jump on the second one because that's kind of how I do my jumps in the competition. I like to make a you know 10 to 20 pound jump depending on how I feel for my second because my second is usually a five pound PR. And that just kind of starts building the process towards the meat of what to expect, you know. So... From my last attempt, say it was 500 for the single, I might jump 30 pounds uh, in the meet, and then another 10 to 15 pounds from a second to a third. So start building your meat in your head and your training kind of like that. That's one of the things that I like to do is make my training as much like a meat as I can, especially on my attempts. Like, um, you know, I take the exact attempts on my heavy days that I will in the warm-up room. Just start... I guess it's it's one way to make your training more like a meet and to make your meet more like training. That's been something that's really helped me mentally. Um, second thing, I don't use it very much on speed day, but on my rep day, um, if I've got a designated set of, say, three sets of three or three sets of five, something like that, I might do an additional one to two sets with an extra quarter, maybe, you know, an extra... 30 pounds, something like that, and, uh, you know, doing another set or two with the slingshot. The reason I like the slingshot so much versus others is because the slingshot actually gives you an allowable range without hindering your range of motion and your technique. Uh, and what I mean by that is you're not going to be handling, you know, 100 to 120 pounds over what you can handle raw. So it's a nice bump into the like what they call the future method um, you know if I'm benching 500 today raw and I can use the slingshot to get 530 540 550 that starts acclimating my body to holding that weight and it actually allows my body position to stay in the actual position that I'll be pressing in in the future and um, it gets my body and my mind ready for those repetitions without changing things I've used some of the other tools <clears throat> and uh, they just seem they just seem a little too aggressive and they change my form up too much for me to really believe that they give me the carryover um, that the slingshot does. <coughs> and again, it's, it's like I said, it's not something that you want to beat up every week. You know, you don't want to take a heavy week and then turn right around and do your rep week with it. But it's something to good, you know, you got a three week cycle, use it once, maybe twice during that three week cycle. Um, I like to use it a lot on Sundays because, as you guys know, I do a lot of close grip work on my Sundays, my accessory day. That's where I find a lot of benefit from the slingshot also. So there's tons of ways to implement the, the slingshot into the Q method. I highly advocate using it versus other tools. But, um, you know, give it a shot. It, it can't hurt, I promise you. It's done nothing but make guys in our gym stronger and safer. Uh, Brad Little, Corey Hayes. Both those guys have used it to kind of deflect injuries lately, along with myself. You know, when you're when you're benching heavy all the time, especially raw, you've got the you got to protect your pecs, and uh, that's one of the things that our gym has done to do so. We really 
you know, if there's any kind of sign of pain whatsoever, we'll throw the slingshot on, go through our normal work sets and shut it down. No sense in, in stressing yourself out over it. Thanks.